New at six, dramatic moments in a Van Nuys courtroom today as testimony continued in the trial of Rebecca Grossman, the socialite and the co-founder of the Grossman Byrne Foundation, charged in the deaths of young brothers Mark and Jacob Iskander, 11 and 8 years old, as they crossed a Westlake Village street in 2020. Today, the boy's mother, Nancy Iskander, returned to the stand, reportedly running from the courtroom in tears when shown a graphic photo of one of her son's lifeless body. With more, we are joined by criminal defense attorney and legal analyst Lou Shapiro. Lou, thank you so much for being with me. Uh, I want to start with the fact that the prosecution led this off by putting the mother of these two boys uh, on the stand first. Her testimony absolutely heart-wrenching. How powerful of is she as a witness and was this the strategy uh what's the strategy behind her testifying first well a prosecutor when they're going to come out they're going to come out strong in a case like this and their most sympathetic and powerful witness is of course none other uh, than the mother of these children and she wants to set the table and let the jury know that this is a very serious case this is traumatizing to this family and that they need to take their role as jurors very seriously because there were real consequences to this family. That's why they're starting off with this witness. Yeah, the mom. And then uh, Grossman's defense, they basically accuse the mother of not actually seeing what happened uh, when a speeding car came through that crosswalk where she had three of her boys. She was able to save the five-year-old, the eight-year-old, and the 11-year-old. They were a little bit further ahead. Uh, the defense basically saying you didn't see this because it was nighttime. I think it was about 710 at night. What do you make of that? The defense has a job to do in every case. The defense has to make sure that the prosecution is proving their case beyond any reasonable doubt. And the defense attorney does not mean uh, to poke any jabs or to insult the family in any way. The defense lawyer is simply trying to put forth any reasonable doubt in the case. And if there is any reasonable doubt whatsoever, it is the duty of the defense attorney to point that out. In cases like this, when there are victims, and it just, it, it really does get to everybody when they watch and they see the, the beautiful picture of these children, mm -hmm. it's a hard sell. But defense attorneys uh, like myself, uh, that's what we sign up to do, and that's our job to do for our clients as well. Yeah, and part of that defense is to deflect blame and say, in fact, it wasn't my client. It wasn't Rebecca Grossman. It was uh, the man who she was apparently in a relationship with, a former Dodger, who was also whose car was first, was traveling first, and then Grossman was behind. I understand that defense, but what about the fact that we've seen the pictures of her white Mercedes that has significant damage to that vehicle? What do you make of that? The defense is trying to argue that that was the second car in line that the first car is the one that actually struck the children and led to their death and her car was basically just wrong place wrong time and didn't actually cause the death uh, the problem with that is supposedly the prosecutor has an eyewitness who's going to testify that in fact it was grossman's car that struck the children that's number one number two is the defense when they make that kind of claim that it wasn't their client it's really important to try to have forensic evidence to back that up. But we're seeing what the damage. damage to this other car. Sorry to jump in here, but when we see the damage uh, to her car, th that's uh, that works in the prosecution's favor, right? It absolutely does, and the defense will try to say, well, if if a, if a child is thrown up in the air, or body is thrown up in the air and lands on a car, one would expect to see damage to the car. So you, we can expect there to be, you know, maybe an accident reconstruction expert that the defense will call to try to back up that theory. But it's not an easy sell indeed in this kind of case. Do you, uh, we have just a few seconds left, um, so make this as quick as you can. Do you expect Gro Grossman will in fact take the stand? I think the less forensic evidence there is to support the theory that it wasn't her, the more likely she will take the stand. Okay. Well, of course, we will continue to follow this and uh, perhaps have you back as you follow along as well. Defense Attorney Lou Shapiro, thank you so much. You got it, Marla.